This afternoon, I'm laying out my plan to ensure that the United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. And we'll get it done. What's going on, guys? K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Now, in case you missed the Donald Trump speech over in Nashville, Tennessee for the Bitcoin 2024 conference, uh, some of you may not have seen it. It was a little bit long. So what I did for you guys was I actually compiled all of the highlights into this video. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of, uh, without further ado, play that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. A uh, lot to go over. We'll talk about this in some future videos. Obviously, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. There's going to be a lot of interesting things to to go over but for the next uh, few minutes you're definitely going to want to just sit down and check it out i think this was the best of the best the highlights of us uh, uh, you know ultimately the speech so hopefully you guys enjoy it my sons it's like incredible because they know so much about it is so they're so aware of it much more so than people that are a little bit older but i say this is the steel industry of a hundred years ago it really is i think you're just in your infancy i can see it happen in just 15 years, Bitcoin has gone from merely an idea posted anonymously on an internet message board to being the ninth most valuable asset anywhere in the world. Can you believe that? Is that right? That's a big deal. Think of that. It's already bigger than ExxonMobil. Soon it will be surpassing the entire market cap of silver. It's not bad. How about gold? How about gold? Let's go, gold. And one day it probably will overtake gold, but based on the way it's going now, it could very well be a possibility. There's never been anything like it, and I don't think you've ever seen anything like it. And most people have no idea what the hell it is. You know that, right? So what happens when they figure it out? That's going to really be something. Bitcoin is not just a marvel of technology. As you know, it's a miracle of cooperation and human achievement and a lot of relationships that are formed. I just did a meeting, a roundtable with a lot of the leaders, and uh, it's amazing. There's a, a great camaraderie. It's really interesting. There's obviously there's competition, but there's a relationship. There's a friendship that's developed with a lot of these people. I noticed it. I don't usually see that too often. I see the opposite, actually. They want to they get each other. They want to kill each other. These guys have a great uh, feeling. Very smart people, too. Congratulations on all that you've accomplished. This room is amazing. The people in this room, high IQ individuals. I'm running against a low IQ individual, her. I'm not even talking about him, her. I got a low IQ individual. The reason I've come to address the Bitcoin community today can be summed up in two very simple words. America first. Because if we don't do it, China's going to be doing, others are going to be doing it. Let's do it and do it right. This afternoon, I'm laying out my plan to ensure that the United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. And we'll get it done. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon. I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. That's why I'm proud to be the first major party nominee in American history to accept donations in Bitcoin and crypto. And they've made a lot of them, I might tell you. And I appreciate it. Since we made that announcement on May 21st, we have already raised $25 million, much of it in Bitcoin, crypto, and others, others that are very, very good also. But as you know, our excitement about the future of Bitcoin and crypto could not be more difficult from the approach of our opponents. Can't be, look, our opponents have gone a difficult route. They're going old-fashioned stuff. We're going to take it right down the middle. We are going to — we are so different from anybody else in terms of a campaign. First of all, we understand it. They don't understand it. They are blocking your path. They are blocking your way. 
For three and a half years, the current administration has waged a war on crypto and Bitcoin like nobody's ever seen before. For those who work in this industry, they target your banks, they choke off your financial services. Have people seen that? Yes? Yeah, they have. Plenty of hands up. They block ordinary Americans from transferring money to your exchanges. They slander your they slander you as criminals. It should be no surprise that these same totalitarians are hell-bent on crushing crypto and obliterating, and that's what they want to do, and that's what they are stated. They, well, I mean, they're there right now. You have the SEC, you know what they're doing, obliterating Bitcoin. The reason could not be more clear because Bitcoin stands for freedom, sovereignty, and independence from government, coercion, and control. The Biden-Harris administration's repression of crypto and Bitcoin is wrong, and it's very bad for our country. It's really quite un-American. I pledge to the Bitcoin community that the day I take the oath of office, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's anti-crypto crusade will be over. It will end. It'll be done. It'll be done. Elizabeth Warren and her goons, and she's very nasty to you. She hates your people. She hates everything about you. Will keep their hands off Bitcoin. They're going to keep your, their hands off crypto. They're going to let it grow. We're going to let it grow. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Is that unpopular? Wow. I didn't know he was that unpopular. Let me say it again. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. And we'll appoint a new SEC chairman who believes America should build the future, not block the future, which is what they're doing. A lot of things change. As president, I will immediately shut down Operation Choke Point 2.0. They want to choke you. They want to choke you out of business. We're not going to let that happen. And no longer will your government sit by and watch as Bitcoin jobs and businesses flee to other countries because America's laws are too unclear and too tough and too angry and too stiff. We will keep each and every Bitcoin job in the United States of America. That's what we're going to be doing. Upon taking office, I will immediately appoint a Bitcoin and crypto presidential advisory council. Would anybody like to be on that particular council? Please raise your hand. Their task will be to design transparent regulatory guidance for the benefit of the entire industry, and they will get it done in 100 days. We will have regulations, but from now on, the rules will be written by people who love your industry, not hate your industry. People that want to make it clear and simple, straightforward and fair. People that want to see your industry thrive, not dive. Next, I will immediately order the Treasury Department and other federal agencies to cease and desist all steps necessary, because, you know, there's a thing going on in your industry. They want to move the creation of a central bank digital currency. It's over. Forget it. <laughs> CBDC. There will never be a CBDC while I'm President of the United States. And I will always defend the right to self-custody. Self-custody. You're going to have a great industry. You're going to have a great industry, and we're going to be fuel. 
for your industry, not demolish your industry. America will once again be a nation that protects property rights, privacy, freedom of transaction, freedom of association, and freedom of speech. We're going to change our... We're going to go back to the old days when we were a nation that was building, not a nation that was eating itself alive from within. As part of our effort to provide regulatory clarity, we will create a framework to enable the safe and responsible expansion of staple, stable coins. Do you know what a stable coin is? Does anybody know? Please raise your hand. Allowing us to extend the dominance of the U.S. dollar to new frontiers all around the world. America will be richer, the world will be better, and there will be billions and billions of people brought into crypto economy and storing their savings in Bitcoin. So that's the way it is. That's pretty much the way it is. Those who say that Bitcoin is a threat to the dollar have the story exactly backwards. I believe it is exactly backwards. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. The danger to our financial future does not come from crypto. It comes from Washington, D.C. As I have set the ambitious goal that by the end of my term, the United States will be the number one lowest cost of energy and electricity of any nation on Earth. We can make it so inexpensively. Because of what we have under our feet, we can make it so inexpensively. And with low energy costs, America will become the world's undisputed Bitcoin mining powerhouse. You'll be a Bitcoin mining powerhouse. As we implement these reforms, Bitcoin and crypto will grow our economy, cement American financial dominance, and strengthen our entire country long into the future. Many Americans do not realize that the United States government is among the largest holders of Bitcoin. Does anyone know that? How about that? The federal government has almost 210,000 Bitcoin, or 1% of the total supply that will ever exist. But for too long, our government has violated the cardinal rule that every Bitcoiner knows by heart. Never sell your Bitcoin, right? That's right, isn't it, huh? That's right. How did I figure that one? Never sell your Bitcoin. And so, as the final part of my plan today, I am announcing that if I am elected, it will be the policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. We'll keep 100%. I hope you do well, please. This will serve, in effect, as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. As you know, as you know, most of the Bitcoin currently held by the United States government was obtained through law enforcement action. You know that. They took it from you. Let's take that guy's life. Let's take his family, his house, his Bitcoin. We'll turn it into Bitcoin. It's been taken away from you because that's where we're going now. That's where this country is going. It's a fascist regime. And so as I take steps to transform that vast wealth into a permanent national asset to benefit all Americans, today I repeat my pledge to commute the sentence of Ross Albrecht to a sentence of time served. It's enough. It's enough. That's where we are as a country. Ultimately, my promise to each and every one of you is this. I will be the pro-innovation and pro-Bitcoin president that America needs and our citizens deserve. This will be one industry, but this will be a thriving industry, a great industry, and I'm going to be doing the same thing for every other industry also. Our nation has never thrived by trying to censor new ideas and shut down the dreams of our people. America always plants our flag on the next frontier and pushes boldly ahead. We have to do that. We haven't been doing that for a long time, especially the last three and a half years. It's gone the exact opposite. 
Those of you in this room inherit the legacy of generations of American pioneers and patriots, risk-takers and renegades who settled this continent, built the modern world, and lived on the bleeding edge. You live on a bleeding edge. You do know that, Bitcoiners, don't you? You are the modern-day Edisons and Wright brothers and Carnegies and Henry Fords, and what you do in your lifetime stands a chance to outlive us all and inspire humanity for generations to come. This will go down as a very important day in the history of your industry. Together, you are building America's future with your own smarts, your own grit, and your own skin in the game. You have a lot of skin in the game, and that's what you're doing. It takes courage to do it. Most people don't have that courage. My job will be to set you free and to let you do what Americans do best and what you're going to do better than anybody. Win, win, win. You're going to win, win, win. With energy, passion, and brilliance like we have rarely seen before, our country cannot fail. We're in a failing nation right now, but we're not going to be for long. Our country cannot fail. With your help, we will save our nation, we will restore our republic, and we will make America and Bitcoin bigger, better, stronger, richer, freer, and greater than ever before. Thank you all. Have a good time with your Bitcoin and your crypto and everything else that you're playing with. And we're going to make that one of the greatest industries on Earth. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. So obviously there is a lot to unpack in that speech. I tried to get the main points, the main talking points regarding Bitcoin, the ones that I think people on this channel would be most interested in. Let me know what you thought, if there's anything that I left out. How did you feel about everything? Now, you know, just to add a little bit of a disclaimer, you know, we've been making crypto videos for almost a decade, you know, on this channel. And obviously, Bitcoin does not need any particular party or politician. You know, obviously, Bitcoin is the soundest, hardest money on planet Earth. And, you know, but it, it is it is nice in a way, you know, I, I just to end on a, on, a, on a sort of note here. I remember when I first got into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and I remember everyone saying how crazy it was, and it was a bit of a difficult road, you know, and, and it's nice to sort of see that that effort has paid off. And I just wanted to say, you know, everyone who's been on the channel, you know, we still have a long journey ahead, obviously. Bitcoin is maturing. It is growing. I do believe it will be in everyone's portfolio at some point. You know, we've talked about this on the channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's just nice to sort of see Bitcoin finally getting that recognition that it deserves deserves after uh, quite a long road. But, you know, again, if, if you think that this is the end or this is the top of the mountain, I, I, I really still think this is just the beginning. And I think for anybody watching right now, uh, it sounds crazy to say that we're early, but, you know, I still kind of feel that way, even after all the years being in the space. So that's really all I wanted to go into today, guys. Thank you so much again for stopping by the channel. Super quick update. Just wanted to break down all the key talking points. Obviously, a lot we're going to go over, uh, especially next week. I'm sure things are going to get very interesting. Do get subscribed if you're not subscribed. Uh, drop a like and also, you know, share this video if you want to help other people. Uh, just show them these clips. I think I kind of compiled the best parts of the speech right here. So thanks again. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And, uh, you know, until next time, guys, stay crypto. And of course, peace out.